Hello everyone, welcome back to another sound design tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make ethereal sounding pads like this one. So let's get an init patch of shear mount and let's start messing with the wavetables. I like to use this uh, this ethos one. Uh, it has a lot of harmonics in it if you turn up the wavetable position a little bit. And we also want to have a sine wave, but I'm going to add some harmonics. And the reason I'm adding all these harmonics is because I want the pad to sound really lush, but I don't want it to have any harsh frequencies like if I use a square or a saw wave. I'm going to turn this ethos at one octave up. And now I'm also going to mess with the voicing. I'm going to turn 11 voices on on the first oscillator and 10 10 voices in the second oscillator around the same detune, but we're going to automate it. So I'm not going to do too much with the envelope here, but I do want to loosen it up a little bit, add just a little bit of attack and a little bit of release to get it sounding a little bit softer, but we do want the volume fully sustained, so I'm going to leave everything else. I'm also going to activate this noise oscillator. I really like this Atmosphere 44, it's really nice, and I'm also going to turn on the filter, MG Low 24 with no resonance, and route oscillators A, B, and the noise oscillator to it. I'm also going to turn up the cutoff a little bit. That sounds pretty nice so far, but we can get that sounding a lot better. Now the key to getting these pads sounding really nice is to do a lot of stuff with the LFO. So I'm going to turn the first LFO at two bars and the second LFO at one bar. Now with the second LFO, I want this to be routed to the detune. And for the oscillator A, it's going to be, the uh, lower bound is going to be right where the knob is. And the upper bound is going to be a little bit past that. The second oscillator, it's going to be just the inverse of that. So we'll do a little bit back. So this way the first oscillator is always going to have more detune and the second oscillator is always going to have a little bit less detune, but they're still moving. Now at this first LFO, I want ASIM minus on the first oscillator and I want PWM on the second oscillator and I'm just going to play around with those just a little bit. I'm just going to mess with this PWM here a little bit more. I'm just going to do a little bit more with the LFO here. I'm going to have LFO 3 at one half. And I'm going to put this on the wavetable position for the ethos oscillator. Now I also want LFO to be at four bars and we'll be using this a little bit later. But first let's go into the effects and add some hyper dimension. And I'm just going to turn the mix down on the hyper and the mix up a little bit for the dimension. Now let's go into the flanger and I'm going to turn the rate at two bars. And I'm also going to have LFO number two, which is the one bar LFO, going to the mix of this flanger right here. All right, now let's go to the chorus and I want to turn this on I want it to be four bars and I want to turn the delay a little bit down it's a little too much delay I'm also gonna have LFO 2 routed to the depth here and I want all right so in the filter I'm gonna choose this phases 48 L6 minus. I'm going to put the four bar LFO right on the cutoff for that. I'm not gonna mess with it too much but just a little bit is good bring it down a little bit and I'm gonna bring the mix back a little bit too now there's not much more to do after this I'm just gonna add a, a little bit of EQ to clean it up a little bit just want to be cutting out some of the frequencies we don't really need and lastly I'm gonna add a lot of reverb so I'm gonna turn the size up all the way because I want this to sound really big and I'm gonna turn the mix up a lot as well and with that, I'm going to turn the low cut up a little bit. Now, I'm just going to route this to a mixer channel and add a little bit more EQ. Alright, and our final result is going to sound like this. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe. It would really help out the channel. And I'll see you guys next Monday in the next tutorial.